I think you guys know what Linktree or what LinkedIn bio is, but if you don't know, it is a third party tool that you use to collate or drop all your links to your website, socials, videos, portfolios, whatever, where people have access in one. It is a good thing. It is a very good thing. And it seems like Elementor realized that this is actually a very good thing. And they have released a widget, actually seven widgets, which help you build your own link in bio on your actual domain. And the good thing about this is that, okay, first of all, they have seven widgets, different styles from minimalistic to portfolio to links to whatever. And they also have templates pre-built that you can choose from. So you don't have to necessarily start from scratch. The good thing about this is that in comparison to the third party tools, this is highly customizable because it's on your website instead of relying on just this third party tool that is limited in terms of customization. So you can make it look look like your website exactly have your branding your colors so you are also in other words saving money because you don't have to pay for all these third-party tools to have different features you have this and it's included with Elementor Pro. And this is amazing. Imagine if you have clients that are interested in having a link in bio built for them, and you can use that as an add-on to the website that you are already building. That's a very good plus, right? And also imagine the SEO benefits here. You can optimize the links in your link in bio page for search engine optimization and i think that is something so overlooked of course you can also see what people are clicking on from all the links that you have on your link in bio so you know what to put at the top of the page for example or what to focus more so imagine that all the clicks that are made on this page contribute to the traffic to your website that is another plus even though you would think ah oh, it's just taking you to another page outside my website but it's still bringing in traffic to your website and i think that how would help google rank your website for that but before we get started let's talk a little bit about elementor e-commerce hosting all right with elementor e-commerce hosting you get everything you need for your online store and you can just ship it in no time you do not have to deal with any headaches and you have everything in one place so you have incredible incredible fast store sales optimization enterprise grade security and 24 7 expert service and as you can see the e-commerce hosting plans are catered to every need every one is covered here so if you're interested to simply starting with the e-commerce hosting plan you can go with the cell core and test it out and see if this is something that you would like to continue with so as you can see they're pretty generous in terms of what you are getting as essential for your website and it includes the element element or core which is the free version and you can build your store you can improve your conversion and if you want to read a little bit more in depth about all these add-ons to the plan you can hover over the exclamation point and you will get a tooltip which will show you more or less everything that you need to know so you can have a look over here and you can read to see what is included in each plan. The most popular obviously is the one in the middle, always is like this, right? And as you can see, again, it's super generous as is the one for more advanced or more or bigger e-commerce stores. Yes, let's say you already have an e-commerce store and you are interested in either migrating in a sense or just fully building it again on Elementor with their e-commerce hosting. So you can get this and you have everything included, including a premium WooCommerce theme, which is such a plus because they are optimized for conversion and you have everything 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 that you would need to build a website an e-commerce website and so much is included <laughs> i will leave a link in the description below to this page 
so you can have a look a little bit more in depth so let's get started all right so in order to activate this feature you would have to go to elementor to settings in your dashboard go to features and look for your link in bio feature here so you would have to turn it to active i don't know why it does not appear even in the ones that are active anymore but it's activated on the website okay so i'm gonna go to my pages i'm going to let's do this and let's go to edit with elementor so in order to look for it we're gonna go to widgets and we will have to close all these drop downs all the way to link in bio and as you can see we have uh, seven options here seven widgets all right and they range from minimalistic to links to portfolio to business class and so on so i'm gonna add them all to the page to see how they look like so one by one all right and we're gonna go over them and you will see how cool these are and business all right so yeah the design right now it's not the best in terms of colors and branding in general but obviously you can change this right so look at this they are, they range from more classic to a little bit more interesting with a little bit of a dazzle dazzle i like very much this one as i think the classic is it called no it's how is it called it's minimalistic or the classic is actually this one i think this is more classic <laughs> as i remember from linktree designs so let's go to our minimalistic link in bio widget and as you can see you can replace the images from here so let me see if i have any cool images i'm gonna do something with this ones yeah so let's go to ctas and the ctas are the, the buttons obviously so okay let's change the background color mint <laughs> and the color of the text Anyway, I'm not going to go too much into details here, but you can get what uh, this um, would look like, right? So background type classic. We can also go with a gradient, but let's go with a classic color and let's go with this um, olive green, which is not very nice in this context. Maybe uh, that's too much. All right. I, I, it doesn't really matter at this point you can uh, play around and see what works and it's very dependent on your branding because it should actually look like your website like it's an extension of your website right not something different because then what's the point all right so let me just switch to tablet because this can be also viewed on tablet it's mostly for mobile but since i have uh, my floating buttons here it's kind of like in the way but you can get the idea right all right so yeah these are pretty cool and you can as i said customize this as you want you can change the image uh shape uh the bio all this text here the icons I think they're better smaller background overlay opacity image it's quite 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 cool right and you can make it full width right so it fits on all devices more or less basically from laptop size and down and full screen height as well on all devices this is pretty cool okay so let's actually go back to desktop view and let's go back to let's go down and see what templates elementor has designed for us okay you as i said you can choose from this already pre-designed templates if you don't have branding or you don't have yet your website ready because imagine you choose this one and the colors of your website are very muted and very the mirror let's say very minimalistic and you choose this one doesn't look good for your branding right and as you can see you have a little bit more conventional or more classic designs with a little bit more interesting and more colorful patterns or designs. very cool very nice right you can get some inspiration from here and as you can see they have quite a few designs Yes, I honestly, this is my favorite uh, of them all, the minimalistic one. Yeah, 
I honestly wish that there was a way that you could actually add uh, oh, let's just add one for the sake of this video so let's go with the one that I like not that one no where was it okay I'm gonna go with this one insert okay so let's see if there is another way or there is another a way where you can add some more stuff here hmm. seems like not really ah email okay we can add email here and also we can add what else message okay this is cool something else whatsapp ways i have no idea what ways is so social media ways to contact you and yeah and and and, and is youtube ah yeah youtube and all this all right yeah i think this is pretty cool i wish there was a way to make these icons even smaller than this have them a little bit more elegant but in the, in the end it doesn't really matter they look good so let's have a look this is looking really really good i like it uh but it seems like it's creating some overflow so you can do this to make sure that it doesn't and yeah publish and there you have it if you'd like to see what else you can build with elementor watch this playlist here or here and if you have gotten any value out of this video please consider subscribing liking and sharing this video and i'll see you next time bye